it's Adele and April from Just Say Scrap, and we are here with Technique Tuesday in Rockefeller Center. So we hope that you guys had a very Merry Christmas for those who celebrate out there, and we are excited to bring you yet another holiday craft. Here we go. All right, everybody, so we are going to be doing a New Year's Eve party hat today, or this could be a birthday part party hat, whatever you want. It's actually, when I went on to Cricut Design Space here, I went to images and I searched in my images party hat and then I went to um, project type and I clicked 3D and it said that I had purchased one of them and I was like, huh, which one? And so this one was the one that came up and it's actually part of the Close to My Heart Advent Calendar SVG file. So we have this entire file and I'm going to show you how to make a party hat out of one of these. So we are going to grab this one right here. I just liked the design on it. So I'm going to add this to my canvas. And now we have our thing here. I accidentally put the 20 on there too, So, but we've got the 10. So what I want to do before we start this is, is I do want to contour the Christmas tree here. So I know it's a Christmas tree. We're making it into a hat. So I want to get rid of that 10 just so we have that plain Christmas tree, quote unquote, um, so we can do this. So we're going to go to make it. And we're going to cut this out. So... Perfect, got both of those. Actually, we're gonna make this a lot bigger than it is because this is meant for an advent calendar, remember. So we want this to fit our heads. Let's say we want to do All right, so this is now a seven, basically an eight by um, 11.35. So I think that will be good. So let's make this. One of our images is larger. All right, that's perfect. That's totally fine. So that's gonna be on a 12 by 24 inch mat, which really you can get it on a 12 because uh, we can have 12 by 12 paper. So that's perfect. So I'm gonna get that and I'm also gonna get this and we're gonna cut this and come back. All right, so we have this all cut out. And so I'm just gonna take my, it's supposed to be a tree, but my hat here, and I'm just going to take this little piece we're gonna score that because it was scored with the Cricut. And I'm gonna take some liquid glass. I finally got some brand new liquid glass, which is on sale right now for our Boxing Week sale. So if you wanna go grab some liquid glass, go grab that. We've got Boxing Week all week. Different items are gonna be on sale, which is amazing. Just remember if you are one of our VIPs, um, and you want to purchase something, if you use your credit, it's going to go up to full price, but you will get your 15% if you don't use your VIP credit. Um, so just fun facts there. All right. Talking while I'm doing this. So we're going to put that liquid glass on there and then we want to roll this up and meet these in the middle. I'm trying not to get the liquid glass in my hand. <laughs> which is a little harder than it looks. Right, I'm gonna keep this actually folded down like this. We're gonna bring this over to fold it like kind of in half just to get that bottom part done. Make sure that this part glues and then I will shimmy it up the rest. We're working with paper here, you know. Paper sometimes is a little bit difficult. I'm just gonna hold this for a few seconds. And yes, it does look like I am actually uh, like putting this in half, but I'm not because this piece of paper is gonna pop up like that. I'm just gonna use my bone folder in here to make sure that that top stays. You can see my bone folder up at the top there. Just using this to Press down the liquid glass on the inside here. This is actually part of our advent calendar, like I said, so you can make these tiny, like they're supposed to be on the Cricut. And um, you can make a little advent calendar out of it, which is absolutely adorable. But I'm using it as a party hat. <laughs> which also works as. All right, so once we got that down, I was able to kind of go inside and press down that piece that we glued. So the design that I glued onto that's the design that I wanted on the outside of the hat. So see how I've got it like that. And then we have our design elements here. And remember, this just kind of gets swirled 
all the way up our hat like this. So we're just gonna put some liquid glass on this. I did this in the white glitter because I really wanted to have a little bit of fun on this here. So we're just going to put some liquid glass and start up at that top. Maybe once again, should have glued as I went, but that's okay. Making this more difficult to myself. Makes crafting more fun. <laughs> All right, so I'm starting up at the top here. I'm just going to lay it down and slightly hold. So you definitely have to finagle this a little bit. The white glitter is definitely thicker. So I do have to kind of play with it and get it to lay like I want it to, but it definitely will. If you have it glued in certain spots, that's great. Um, you just kind of want to make sure that you're holding it and making sure that it's really sticking in some spots so it doesn't fall off in the end. The reason that we also have such a big gap down here is because remember, I did take out that 10. So if you want to do, you could have even replaced it with 2024 or something like that. If you have a birthday party, you can write happy birthday on it or cut out happy birthday, anything like that. You can have a lot of fun with that space. So I just kind of left it for now because, you know, I wanted to show you how to make the hat first. And then we're going to add a little bit of some embellishing to this hat. So isn't that absolutely adorable? I love it. It's so cute. All right, let's get some ribbon. I know this is some of our older ribbon that I have here, but I absolutely love this ribbon, so I am going to use it. And this is what's going to be tied onto my face. So I'm just gonna put a little drop of liquid glass in there, put my ribbon on there, and then I'm going to measure it. I'm just, I pushed it into the liquid glass, and now I'm just going over it a little bit more with some more liquid glass, just to make it hold like that. So I just want that to dry a little bit. And we're gonna cut the string. So I'm actually going to put the top of the hat right at the top of my Versa mat here, and we're gonna measure 12 inches out. I didn't put the hat on my head yet, but 12 inches feels like a good thing to be able to tie it on your head. So we're just gonna take this and snip that. And then if you have a lighter, I always like to burn the ends just to make sure that it doesn't fray on us. And we'll do the same thing with this side. All right, so we've got our string on our party hat here. And I want to just have a little bit more fun. So I'm actually going to put a drop of liquid glass right into the top here. I'm going to stick my ribbon in there. Squish it a little bit. And cut. And that's just a fun little thing to add to your hat. And I just added a little bit more liquid glass in there just to keep that ribbon from going anywhere. And I'm just going to do the same thing here. <laughs> Got a little bit of a burnt end there, but that's okay. <laughs> Don't want it fraying on us. Oops. I didn't let this one sit long enough. That happens when you're trying to craft fast sometimes. But there you have it, an adorable party hat. So I hope that you enjoyed this. <laughs> I love the little top. So remember you could write anything on there, but we hope that you have a great New Year's and I hope that you make some hats and share them with us. 
All right, we'll see you next Tuesday. And that's Technique Tuesday. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. But we will see you next year in the new year. Bye. Bye. excited to bring you yet another day another and we're excited to bring you yet another holiday craft. <laughs> so we are going to be doing a christmas all right everybody so we are going to be doing a